So I was asked to do this video on what's the best badges to use for a shot creator and it took me a minute because I was playing around with my build. I ended up creating a different build instead of the shot creator because I saw way too many people in the park using this. But if you do end up using a shot creator build like I did in my previous video, the best build I believe will be on 2k and then look everybody pretty much is using a play shot. These are the badges you want to look for, especially in shooting. Difficult Shot Hall of Fame seems to be one of the most used badges for this build since fadeaway threes or fadeaway mid ranges. If you use the shot stick with this badge on Hall of Fame, they're pretty much a go ahead bucket, even if you don't green it. Another one that I would say is if you're grinding in my career, catch and shoot would probably be your first badge you want to pick up on uh, the shooting badges. It'll help you out a lot or steady shooter i've noticed that steady shooter the second you get it, at least bronze or silver i started making a lot of shots even on my two-way mid-range score and afterwards you could keep difficult shot you want to put um what is it hot zone hunter green machine you could go dead eye or steady shooter and then up to you with whatever other badge you want to use but as long as you have those badges i said earlier you should be fine oh and rage extend of course i can't forget about rage extend now for playmaking you're gonna have to use this setup right over here it'll be dimer you're gonna pick up handles for days quick first step tight handles unpluckable on bronze because your playmaking is already high enough and then needle threader the reason why i put needle threader is this is in case you know you got those people doing those back throw cuts you can hit them on the dime real easy and you shouldn't be missing the ball with like a turnover or fumbling it because they'll be having a higher chance of passing it to those people at those times i actually put them in, in a good position to actually score it too finally for defense since you only have six badges and you're gonna be in the perimeter majority of the times as your guard we're going to have to get Intimidator on gold, Clamps on silver, and then Bronze Interceptor so that you can play the passing lanes and get some steals. Clamps just helps you get more closer and play them tighter. That's it. Try to, your best to stick on them and you'll be fine. 